Hi, in this video we will talk about humerus of dog. Area of limb covered by this humerus is known as brachium. This humerus has two extremities, proximal extremity and distal extremity and a body. This body is further divided into four surfaces. Humerus on its proximal extremity it has this head this is head of humerus which makes shoulder joint with the scapula so this is a scapula and you can notice that in the scapula compared to the glenoid cavity the surface area of this head of humerus is quite large so this is quite bigger surface area this is to allow the moment of this joint which is kind of ball of socket joint but the moments mainly are the extension and flexion in this area on the lateral surface on the lateral side of this proximal extremity we have this greater tubercle this is greater tubercle and uh, this is a large palpable structure on the lateral side and it provides insertion uh, to the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscle the infraspinatus muscle attaches or inserts to this smooth area on the lateral side on the medial side is lesser tubercle this is the lesser tubercle uh, in between the lesser tubercle and greater tubercle is this intratubercular groove and tendon of bicep brachii it passes through this intratubercular groove earlier it was also known as bicipital groove clinicians still use bicipital groove whereas anatomist may use intertubercular grooves between two tubercles greater tubercle and lesser tubercle regarding body of humerus this is cranial surface of the body of humerus this is the proximal extremity this is the distal extremity on the cranial surface of body of humerus there is a rough area on the proximal side and this area is for the attachment of brachiocephalic and part of pectoral muscles this is also this part is known as crest of greater tubercle on the lateral side we have this crest and it ends as deltoid tuberosity this is the deltoid tuberosity on the lateral side and it gives attachment to the deltoideus muscles <clears throat> this line is the tricipital line and this tricipital line it gives attachment to the lateral head of triceps and also a part of uh, teres major muscle lateral surface this is the lateral surface of humerus and this lateral surface is kind of spiraled here you can see it is spiraling around and it, it looks like if someone has twisted this uh, humerus uh, so this spiral it was also known as musculospiral groove in uh, earlier days but now it is known as brachialis groove and it has brachialis muscle in it along with the brachialis muscle also it has radial nerve along with it so any hum any blunt trauma or any injury on the lateral side of humerus may lead to the radial nerve paralysis this is caudal surface of the body of humerus and it is usually smooth and round and it ends in this olecranon frosa on the distal extremity on the medial surface this is the medial surface and uh, we have this crest of lesser tubercle this is the lesser tubercle and uh, on this crest of lesser tubercle we have this uh, teres major tuberosity teres major tuberosity it gives attachment to teres major muscle and latissimus dorsi muscle and uh, also medial head of uh, triceps and uh, cracobrachialis muscle they also attach in this part on the distal extremity we have these two condyles these two condyles condyles are the knuckle shape structures and these are two condyles in between these two condyles is a trochlea this pulley like structure is known as trochlea on the lateral side of this trochlea this part is known as capitulum which articulates with the head of radius on the sides of this distal extremity we have these epicondyles this one is the lateral epicondyle and here in this view you can see this medial epicondyle is larger than the lateral epicondyle lateral epicondyle is much smaller and it gives attachment to the extensors of corpus and extensors of digits 
and also supinator muscle also the lateral collateral ligament uh, for the elbow joint attaches here this is the medial epicondyle and this medial epicondyle is much larger and uh, this is also an important landmark on the radiographs you can see on the radiographs this medial epicondyle is much larger it gives attachment to the flexors of uh, carpus joint and digital flexors and also it gives attachment to the pronator muscle medial collateral ligament for the elbow joint on the caudal side of distal extremity we have this depression which is uh, olecranon fossa and uh, on the cranial side we have radial fossa these two fossa radial and olecranon they communicate each other with this foramen we call this foramen as supratrochlear foramen because it's above the trochlea this is the trochlea pulley like structure and uh, no special structure passes through this supratrochlear foramen that's all about the humerus